hello, good evening um, from day 50. So I um, wanted to do a little intro to this video coming to you from the future <laughs> because I um, just didn't get many talking clips. Um, I did a lot of relaxing and kind of not worrying about taking video. Um, but over the last few days, um, but basically I flew from Washington to Colorado to spend some time with my friends, which I talk about um, in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, so I was in Summit County um, in Frisco and Breckenridge. Um, it was awesome being there because I'm gonna cross that area on the Continental Divide Trail um, when I get there in a few hundred miles. Um, yeah, and so in this video, I'm basically just sharing some clips of my time with some friends. We went on a couple hikes, we went kayaking, we played games and had dinner and uh, watch this video if you want to see what my <laughs> days 45 through 50 have been like. Um, also, it's day 15 off trail, so wowza, <laughs> that's too long. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited to get back on trail soon. Yum. Chase has like the longest stride. stride, yeah. He's tall. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Good morning. I'm in Frisco, Colorado um, at my friend's house um, that had a bunch of us over for the week. It's been such a great time like being with um, friends from school. Uh, in 2020, I was in grad school and I took time off at the beginning of 2021 and they are all graduating now. <laughs> So I'm here celebrating uh, their accomplishment and just enjoying time with them. Uh, and it's been so nice because on trail it can be so lonely and just like totally different dynamic of friends out there because you're meeting people for the first time. <sighs> Sorry, there's cars driving by that are loud. Um, but it's just been nice being with people that I already know and that I'm close with. and 
Um, we've just had such a good time. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out like if I was going to go <clears throat> north to either Rollins, Washington or Wa Rollins, Wyoming and hike southbound, which a lot of the hikers around me that like got to Colorado at a similar time as me. That's what a lot of them have done. So a lot of people that I know are in Wyoming. I was thinking about going to encampment and hiking north. There's about a 200 mile section in Wyoming that is snow free. Um, it's like in between the Colorado border and the Wind River Range. Um, the, Great, the, the Great Divide Basin is what it is. Um, and so I was considering and like pretty close to making the decision on like, yeah, I'm just going to go north and get that section done because there's a lot of water there right now and it's a good time and it's snow free and I'm trying to wait out like this snow <laughs> that's in Colorado. But um, after really thinking it through and kind of considering all my options, I have decided to go back to Chama and go back to the Colorado border where I finished, uh, well, like three miles into Colorado, get back on trail and try to head north on the red line. <laughs> I'm really nervous. That means I have two, like a month at least of snow ahead of me. And um, I think that there are some hikers that are starting to go through now. Um, since I took two weeks off, actually like over two weeks off uh, from trail. I think some hikers are going in and so I'm going to get like more updates on what the conditions are like um, and I should be back on trail within the next few days. I'm going to fly down to Santa Fe and then get the bus back uh, to Chama and I am definitely going in with a group like I I know at least one person <laughs> that's wanting to go in on the red line and she's really awesome beer goddess um, she was in Chama when I was in Chama a few weeks ago and she's just been waiting it out a little and so but I think that there are more and more people showing up and so hopefully I can meet some more people if going in with her doesn't work out um, because it'll still be a few days before I'm there. Ben is sending my snow stuff there. I'm gonna have micro spikes and uh, my ice axe. And so that'll be good. And then also um, I added a, like a zip up base layer that's synthetic and I upgraded to a regular length sleeping pad and actually might cut this part out because I want to do a whole video <laughs> on my gear updates for the snow uh, but anyways uh, yeah so I'm feeling good about it also nervous but um, I yeah, I'm just gonna be as smart as I can and as prepared as I can and if and I'll always turn back if it's too sketchy or find another way if the way forward is too dangerous so I'm nervous and excited actually um, it'll be pretty awesome so more later
<laughs> so beautiful up here. Ooh, a little bit of thunder. Hasn't rained on us. Oh my goodness. Whew, so I'm on a casual short hike with my friend from college who lives in Frisco. And it's so beautiful. The clouds are out and the thunder is kind of rolling, but it hasn't rained on us. And it's just been a nice afternoon so far. Wow, I guess this is called Rainbow Lake. Cute small little lake. Look at this mountain over here. Wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it started raining. We just walked through this beautiful park next to the river and like right in Frisco, like right in town. So cool. <laughs> I didn't have my bigger coat with me, so I'm borrowing Nate's. <sighs> oh, <laughs> that's true. <sighs> wow. So much snow. <laughs> Arapahoe Basin still has snow and just got a fresh dusting today. Wow. <gasps> it's a white out. We're in a cloud. Oh my goodness, complete cloud. Cannot see a thing. Yeah, this is very, Whoa, look at the side of the very Whoa. Like, Oh wow, cars are right here. Oh my gosh. Whew, we drove up to Loveland Pass, almost 12,000 feet on the Continental Divide. <laughs> so cool. The trail doesn't cross right here, but it's really close by. <laughs> just arrived in Santa Fe at my hotel. Oh. I'm headed to Chama in the morning and um, then hopefully I'll be back on trail the following day. 
Thanks for watching. See ya.